In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Puppet Warp to animate uh, objects. And this was something that I wanted to learn how to do because one of the students in the class was wanting to do a snake. And I, I said, you should try to make it move. And um, anyway, I was like trying to figure out how to do that. And it's not easy. Um, a lot of the tutorials online, they sh they use a plugin. Uh, it's called Omino, O M I N O, I believe it's called. And you have to download the plugin and install it, which is fine if you're doing it on your own computer. But if you're at the school, you can't install a plugin like that, uh, just because we don't have that access. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and let me go over and do a new we'll go back to open project and let me go to our demo file okay so this is demo and cityscape demo okay so let me go over to city cityscape demo so i'm going to i want to animate this streamer and what i'm going to do is first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make it into a pre-comp I'm going to pre-comp this thing. And the way we do that is we right-click on the layer, and then we go down here. It says pre-compose. Okay? And it gives us a lot of different leave all attributes in Cityscape Demo. No, we want to do this one, I believe it is. Okay? And so um, that just basically does this. Okay? Which is which is fine, but we're gonna go back here, and I think I did that right. We'll fi we'll figure that out in a moment, because uh, I might have to do one more tutorial. I did one and I wasn't happy, so I'm doing another one. So let, let me zoom in here, and what we want to use is we want to use this little pin here. It's called Puppet Position Pin Tool. All right. So what's really important is when you're doing this, we want to set We'll set the expansion down to zero. We're going to bring that back up later on uh, because it's very important. I, I had to learn that separately, it's, it, it's especially if you're doing really something th very thin like what I'm doing here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a point here, okay? And then I'm going to come over here and add two points to 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 uh, basically uh, lock the lock that into place. And we'll do another point here and another point here. And, I, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my points all in here. Okay, because I'm going to go and move these points after I put all these in here. Put that one there. Put this one here. I'm wondering here. Well, we'll figure out in a second. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do this a little differently, where we just do one there, just to see. Because I've been putting two at the end of each one. Now, in order to, and I'm going to go back there in just a second here. Let's put all these in here. Okay. Now let me go. And let me move. Let me take one out. This is how we take one out. If we click on one. We just hit delete. It takes it out. Okay. I'll take that one out right there. We'll move, put one, this one in the center. I'm just wanting to see if I needed to do those two anyway, because I was doing this last night. So let's bring this up and bring this down to here. Now you want to have this density set up really high because if it's low, see it gets choppy like that. Okay, so that's why the more mesh lines you have, the better. So I'll pull that down here. Now let me get rid of some of these because because. Because I'm rethinking here. Whoa. There we go. We'll do that over here. We'll hit delete on that. Yeah. I, it, this just dawned on me during this tutorial. That's sometimes how things happen. Is you're, you're in the middle of something. And all of a sudden you realize, oh, maybe this might be a better way. Okay. 
I think it is a better way. Okay. Let me get rid of this one. We'll delete that one. Delete this one. Put one in there. And then all we're doing is moving things up like that. Okay. It's going to be a little choppy. But that's what happens. And sometimes you have to go back and rework things. Okay. So let me just bring this one down here like this. And so we can still move these. We can move the center ones. You know, so you do like that. Okay. Whoa. Move that up there like this. Move this in here. Move this up. Okay. I kind of like that. Yeah, this this might turn out better than my other one. We'll see here. But sometimes you have to move points around here a bit. Because you want to get them as smooth as possible. And this might have done a better job. I'm looking at it. Yeah, see, there's some stuff here. It's still going to be a little rough but anyway let me get on to how we're going to animate this thing so this turns puts all these mesh points in there and they're on the timeline but we're going to go into this once we do all that let me let me click off and go to this selection tool and we'll go to our pre-comp whoops all right so we'll go back to our pre-comp here there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first move this off here to maybe about right there okay and then we're going to hit the P key for position and then we're going to go all the way to the end here and we'll scrub this or move this over here like this all right now let's go back to here and we'll see because, and there it goes. Now, it's going to have to render it, and there's a problem already. And that problem we're going to solve with the expansion, okay? I just want to show you what I encountered the night before. So if we go, I'm going to hit the space bar here. We'll go back to here. So you can see it kind of going through the... So you see how how that animation works. It works very well. Like if I was doing a snake or a worm or a line, or let's say I was doing some weird pipes or or a bendy arm, you know, there's all kinds of things we could do with, with puppet work. But there's a problem there, okay? So let's go back to the beginning here. Actually, I think we go to the end. Well, we'll see here. We'll go back to the Cityscape demo. So in Cityscape, th this, this um, comp... Let me go all the way out to the end here. And what we want to do is we want to be on this layer. And let's go back to our Puppet Pen tool here. But then let's bring the expansion up. I think we might have to click on a point here. for the, Yeah, okay, I have to click on a point. So there we go. All right, so the expansion now it's go now it sh all that stuff should go away hopefully. So let's go back to to here and see if it fixed that. It's a little choppy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go in there and play around with it. But it got rid of that part there. We'll see here. So it's a little more choppy. But now I'd have to go back in and play around with that. But see, I got rid of that part there. That's not doing a bad job, you know? Um, so anyway, what we would do to, to fix that is we would have to go and play around with 
Let's zoom in here. And we'll get this and then we'll just play around with it more. And this is what I had to do last night was you know adding more of these points in here to kind of fix things so that they and this takes and this takes time but I'm going to do a few here and we'll see what this looks like the more points you're putting in the better it will do Yeah, I might have done the expansion first if I, you know, that that might have worked well too. So it's all it's all in trial and error in learning this stuff, and you got to make mistakes to learn from your <laughs> to to learn from them. And it's one of those things that happens. And sometimes you find some things that uh, you didn't know. And you find you you find shortcuts. And, you know, the learning process go, just goes on as you keep trying new things. It's never perfect. Whoa. That's a little bit better. We'll pull this down just a little bit so it's not so extreme here. I'll put one there. And we'll put one here. Because the more points you have in here, the better it will actually bend here. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be better than what it was. Just when I thought, oh boy, it's going to be really nice and smooth. Uh, you got to work it. Okay, now let's go back out here to this, and, and we'll... Start it from the beginning here and see how it's doing. Okay, that's choppy a little bit. Some of it, see, it's getting a little bit better there. So, as you can see, it's, it's getting better. And what I might do next time is, when I do this, is, is start with the expansion first and see how that does. But that's basically how we use Puppet Warp. And so, uh, maybe you can incorporate this in your project and... Um, you know, that, that was the main reason for having this streamer g going through here is because I wanted to learn how to use Puppet Warp and animate this. And as you see, it's, it's not that difficult. The difficult part is trying to get everything smooth, okay?